In the mists of time, over 500 million years ago, a remarkable chapter in the story of life unfolded beneath the waves. Welcome to our journey into the world of trilobites, ancient marine arthropods that thrived during the Paleozoic era and forever changed our understanding of evolution. For over 270 million years, these resilient arthropods thrived, evolving into an astonishing array of forms. Imagine a world where these creatures were as ubiquitous as insects are today, and the sheer diversity of trilobites is staggering. Paleontologists have identified more than 10,000 distinct species, each adapted to a specific ecological niche from tiny, delicate forms to giants the size of dinner plates. The trilobite family was truly vast. But how did these creatures navigate their underwater world? Their movement likely varied depending on their body shape and the environment they inhabited. Some were adept burrowers, using their legs and body to disappear into the sediment. Others were crawlers, slowly traversing the ocean floor. And some species may have even been capable of short bursts of swimming, using their legs or body undulations to propel themselves through the water. Fossil trackways provide tantalizing clues to their locomotion. So what were these ancient mariners like? What did they eat? Well, their diet was as varied as their forms. Some were likely detritivores, scavenging organic matter from the sea floor. Others were predators, perhaps hunting smaller worms or soft-bodied creatures. And some may have been filter feeders, sifting microscopic food particles from the water. Fossil evidence, including gut contents, continues to shed light on their diverse feeding habits. Now let's talk about something truly remarkable their eyes. Trilobite eyes were made from calcite, something no other animal is known to have had before or since. Unlike the soft lenses of our own eyes, these were rigid structures. In some species, these calcite lenses were arranged in complex arrays, providing a wide field of vision and perhaps even the ability to focus. Imagine seeing the world through naturally formed crystals. This extraordinary adaptation allowed them to detect predators and navigate their surroundings in ways unlike any other creature. Adding to their enigmatic nature is the trident organ. Found in some trilobite species, this structure located on the head shield remains a subject of scientific debate. Some paleontologists hypothesize it may have played a role in mating rituals perhaps used for display or clasping. Others suggest it could have served as a defense mechanism, a sharp projection to deter predators. The true purpose of the trident organ continues to be a fascinating puzzle in the study of these ancient beings. For hundreds of millions of years, trilobites flourished, weathering numerous environmental changes but their reign eventually came to an end. The Permian-Triassic extinction event, the most severe mass extinction in Earth's history approximately 252 million years ago, proved to be their undoing. This catastrophic period of volcanic activity, climate change and ocean acidification decimated marine life, and the trilobites, despite their long history of survival, were among the many casualties. Though they are long gone, the fossil record left behind by trilobites offers us an invaluable window into the deep history of life on Earth. Their incredible diversity, their unique adaptations like their crystalline eyes, and the mystery surrounding structures like the trident organ continue to captivate scientists and remind us of the ever-changing nature of our planet and its inhabitants. Eyes crafted from stone, seeing the world through natural crystals. If life on our own planet could conjure such bizarre and brilliant adaptations, what untold marvels 
What utterly strange creatures might yet dwell in the lightless abysses and uncharted corners of the vast cosmos? Thank you for joining us on this journey into the ancient world of the Trilobites. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. What other prehistoric creatures would you like to learn about?